Glossary of the Elements of Anatomy and Physiology. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Larry Wilson. The Elements of Anatomy and Physiology by William Rauschenberger. Glossary N through Z. Nares, Latin, the nostrils. Nasal, relating to the nose. Nitrogen, from the Greek nitron, nitric, and genao, I beget. The name given to the azote on account of its being an acidifiable base of nitric acid. Nutrition, the function by which the various organs receive the nutritive substances necessary to repair their losses and maintain their strength oblongata latin elongated lengthened obscura latin dark obscure esophagus from the greek oil i carry unfago i eat the gullet a tube leading from the mouth to the stomach for the transmission of food olfactory from the latin olfactus the smell that which belongs to or relates to the sense of smell. Orbiculare, Latin, orbicular. Orbit, from the Latin orbis, a circle. The circular cavities are so called which lodge the organs of sight. Organ, from the Greek organon, an instrument, part of an organized being destined to exercise some particular function. For example, the ears are the organs of hearing, the muscles are the organs of motion, etc. Organic, relating to an organ. Organized, composed of organs, having a mode of structure. Os, Latin, bone. Ossification, from the Latin os, a bone, and facere, to make, the formation of bone. Ovalis, ovale, Latin, oval. Oxygen, from the Greek oxus, acid, and genomai, I engender. The generator of acid, as it was believed to be exclusively when this name was given to it, a gas which constitutes about one-fifth of our atmosphere, which is necessary to the respiration of animals, and consequently indispensable to animal life. But it cannot be breathed alone for any considerable time with impunity, requiring to be mixed with about four parts of nitrogen or azote, as is the case in our atmosphere, to render it suitable for respiration. Palati, Latin, the genitive case of palatum, the palate. Palpebro, from the Latin palpebra, the eyelid, belonging or relating to the eyelid. Pancreas, from the Greek pan, all, and creus flesh, that is, quite fleshy, a gland deeply seated in the abdomen, which resembles the salivary glands in its structure, and has been called the abdominal salivary gland. It is this part of the calf which is called in common language the sweetbread. Pancreatic, relating to the pancreas. Papillae, plural of papilla. Parietes, from the Latin paries, a wall, a name given to parts which form the enclosure, the limits of different cavities of the body. Papilla, Latin, a nipple, a name given to small eminences which appear to be formed by the ultimate expansion of the vessels and nerves. Parotid, from the Greek para, about, and us, the ear. The parotid gland is the largest of the salivary glands seated under the ear, and near the angle of the jaw. Patella, Latin, the diminutive of patina, a dish, so called from its shape, the knee pan. Pelvis, Latin, a basin, the name of the bony structure at the lower part of the trunk, which forms the inferior boundary of the abdomen, gives support or place a foundation to the spinal column, and affords points of articulation for the thigh bones, constituting the hip joint. Pericardium, from the Greek peri, around, and cardia, the heart. The pericardium is a membranous sac 
which envelops the heart and the arterial and venous trunks that pass from or into it peritoneum from the greek peri around and tino i stretch a serous membrane which lines the abdominal cavity and covers entirely or in part all the organs contained in it and by folds maintains them in their respective relations the peritoneum is a sort of sac without aperture which covers the abdominal organs without containing them within it the internal surface of this sac is smooth and lubricated by a serous watery fluid petrus from the greek petra a rock a stone a part of the temporal bone which contains the internal organs of hearing is so called from resembling a stone in hardness phalanges the plural of phalanx phalanx from the greek phalanx a file of soldiers the bones composing the fingers and toes they are named first second and third phalanges pharynx from the greek pharynx the pharynx the swallow the superior opening of the esophagus phenomenon from the greek phenomai i appear appearance visible quality phenomena plural of phenomenon philosophy from the greek phileo i love and sophia wisdom or knowledge a clear and distinct knowledge of things the pursuit of truth physiology from the greek phusis nature and logos a discourse the science which treats of the functions of animals or vegetables porta latin a gate the part of the liver where its vessels enter as by a gate the vena porta is a vascular apparatus which conveys black blood to the liver prehension from the latin prehendere to lay hold of the prehension of aliment consists in laying hold of and conveying food into the mouth presbyopia from the greek presbus an old man an ops an eye long-sightedness primer from the latin primus first an elementary book a first book process from the latin procedo i go before an eminence of bone an apophysis pubis the anterior and middle part of the pelvis pulmonary belonging or relating to the lungs puncta latin plural from punctum points pylorus from the greek pule a gate and urus a guardian the lower or right orifice of the stomach radial belonging or relating to the radius radius latin a spoke so called from its shape one of the bones of the forearm ramusculae from the latin ramus a branch a diminutive branch receptaculum latin a receptacle a reservoir renal belonging or relating to the kidney retina from the latin rete a net the essential organ of vision on it the images of objects are impressed rotator from the latin rota a wheel a name given to muscles which turn the parts to which they are attached on their axes rotula the patella rotundum rotunda latin round sacral relating to the sacrum sacrum the bone which forms the posterior part of the pelvis and is a continuation of the vertebral column saliva spittle salivary belonging or relating to saliva sap the nutritious liquid or blood of plants scapula the shoulder blade science from the latin scientia knowledge any art or species of knowledge arranged in order or on some plan sclerotica from the greek scleoro i harden a hard resisting pearly white opaque membrane which forms the posterior four-fifths of the external coat or covering of the eyeball secretion from the latin secernere to separate the organic functions of the several glands by which they separate from the blood the materials which they respectively demand for their several purposes each organ according to its peculiar structure differs from the rest and hence we have the formation of the different fluids 
as bile, saliva, milk, etc. The fluids thus elaborated or separated from the blood are also termed secretions. Sense, the faculty of receiving impressions from external objects. Sensibility, the ability or faculty of receiving impressions from surrounding objects and being conscious of them. Sinuous, relating or belonging to a sinus, partaking of the nature of a sinus. Sinus, any cavity, the interior of which is more expanded than the entrance, in this respect being the reverse of fossa, which see. Skeleton, from the Greek skelo, I dry, the aggregate of the hard parts of the body or the bones. Skin, the dense elastic membrane which envelops the body. It consists of three layers or laminae, the derma, the epidermis, and rete mucosum, the last being situate between the other two. The color of the different races of men depends upon the color of the rete mucosnet, the other two layers being alike, or nearly so, in the whole human family. Sphenoid, from the Greek sphen, a wedge, and eidos, resemblance. A bone situate on the middle line and at the base of the cranium. It articulates with all the other bones of the cranium, supports them, and strengthens their union, acting very much like the keystone of an arch. Stapes, Latin, a stirrup, the innermost of the small bones of the ear, so called because it resembles a stirrup. Sternum, from the Greek steros, solid, the breastbone. Subclavian, from the Latin sub, under, and clavis, the clavicle, that which is under the clavicle. Subcutaneous, from the Latin sub, under, and cutis, the skin that which is under the skin. Sublingual, from the Latin sub under, and lingua, the tongue, that which is under the tongue. Submaxillary, from the Latin sub under, and maxilla, the jaw, that which is under the jaws. Suture, from the Latin suo, I stitch, a kind of immovable articulation or joint in which the bones unite by means of serrated edges which are, as it were, dovetailed into each other. The articulations of the bones of the cranium are of this kind. Symmetrical, from the Greek soon and metron, measure. A term applied to those parts of the body, which, if seated on the middle line, may be divided into two equal and perfectly like halves, or which, if situate, the one to the right and the other to the left of this line, have similar conformation and a perfectly analogous arrangement. Syncope, from the Greek subkopto, I fall down, fainting, complete loss of sensation and motion, with considerable diminution or entire suspension of the pulsations of the heart and of the movements of respiration. Hence, syncope resembles death. Synovia, from the Greek sun, with, an oan, an egg. The lubricating fluids of the joints which enable the surfaces of the bones and tendons to glide smoothly over each other. System, from the Greek sun, together, and istemi, I place. An arrangement according to some plan or method. Systole, from the Greek sustelo, I contract. The contraction of the heart by which it gives impulse to the blood or causes its progression in the blood vessels. It is opposed to diastole of this organ. Tarsus. From the Greek tarsus, any row, the sole of the foot, the posterior part of the foot, which in man consists of seven bones and forms the heel and instep, a thin plate of cartilage seated in the substance of the free edge of each eyelid. Tears the fluid secreted by the lacrimal gland and poured between the globe of the eye and the eyelids to facilitate the motions of those parts. Tendon, from the Greek tino, I stretch, strong white fibrous cords which connect the muscles to the bones which they move. The tendons may be considered as so many cords for transmitting the motion of the muscles to the bones or levers. Tendinous, belonging to or partaking of the nature of tendon. 
thorax from the greek thorax the chest it is bounded posteriorly by the vertebra laterally by the ribs and scapula anteriorly by the sternum above by the clavicle and below by the diaphragm it is destined to lodge to protect the chief organs of respiration and circulation the lungs and heart thoracic belonging to the thorax tibia latin a flute the largest bone of the leg is so called tissue from the latin texere to weave the interlacement or union of many things which form a body as threads of flax silk wool etc of which cloths and stuffs are made from analogy the term is employed in anatomy to describe the substances of which the organs of animals in general and of man in particular are formed and which result from the interlacement of fibres it is applied to the different kinds of organization of the body as for example the muscular tissue the osseous tissue meaning the structure of which the muscles and bones are composed trachea from the greek trachus rough and arteria an artery which is formed from the r air and terrine to keep the canal which conveys the air to the lungs the windpipe tricuspid from the latin tres three and cuspus a point having three points the three valves situate in the right auriculo-ventricular opening of the heart are thus named tunica latin a tunic or coat or covering of an organ tympanum latin a drum the drum of the ear tympani genitive case of tympanum of the drum of the ear ulna the bone of the forearm which forms the prominence of the elbow during the flexion of that joint ulnar relating to the ulna unguiform from the latin unguius a human nail and form a shape of the form of a nail valve from the latin valve doors a small door any membrane or doubling of membrane which prevents fluid from flowing back in the vessels and canals of the animal body vein the veins are vessels for the conveyance of black blood from all parts of the body to the heart they are found wherever there are arteries vellum latin a veil venous relating to the veins ventricle from the latin venter a belly a name given in anatomy to various parts vermiform from the latin vermis a worm and forma form worm shaped vermicular belonging or relating to worms the motion of the intestines is vermicular that is resembling that of a worm vertebra from the latin vetere to turn this name has been given to each of the bones which by their union form the vertebral or spinal column vulgarly called the backbone vertebri the plural of vertebra vertebral belonging to the vertebri viscid viscous glutinous sticky tenacious viscous any bowel or entrail or internal part as the heart liver lungs pancreas etc viscera the plural of viscous vitreous resembling glass glassy zoology from the greek zoon an animal and logos a discourse that part of natural history which treats of animals zoologist one devoted to the study of zoology end of glossary n through z end of the elements of anatomy and physiology by william rushenberger